Okay, we're gonna set up a simple IK rig for this lamp with some animation controls so that we can grab the animation control from the head, move the head like this. We have another one for the base. We have the main control which lets you move the whole lamp to another location or even scale it. And I've added this little twist target which which lets you twist the lamp. Before we start, it's probably easiest if all your objects are separate, not parented to each other yet. If you open Outliner, you can see all your bits here. I've even called that little bit a bit. Then we're going to do something we always do when we move on uh, from modeling. So select everything. You can see on the Outliner, everything selected. We do two things. Freeze transformations. That will set all translate and rotate values to zero and scale to one. And another thing we do is delete the history. So edit, delete by type, history. Just to make sure there's nothing unnecessary in there. Then we are going to take the four view and I'm gonna set this up looking at the side view. For joints, creating joints, you need to have the rigging menu set on. And then under skeleton, you have create joints. And later on, we'll have create IK handle here as well. But first, we'll create joints. I'm going to press 4 to get a wireframe mode. And I'm going to start creating the skeleton. And if if you click, you can see that the the joints are starting to appear. I usually put another one, even though that's kind of our last joint, put another one here just so that we see which way the lamp is pointing. And we finalize that chain pressing enter. Now if, if you want to move any of these joints, you can still do that. You can position them again and with arrow up and arrow down buttons you you can move along the joints easily. Now I don't recommend rotating joints. It's better just to move them. We, we like to keep rotations in zero. Next up I would look at the front view that my, my joints are in the middle of the lamp. They seem to be. If your lamp is not if your lamp is curvy or something, you, you have to adjust the, the joint sideways like this. So now we're going to start parenting. So I'm going to select everything in the lamp head, lamp shade. Then select the joint underneath. Press P to parent. And you can already try if, it, if you grab the, that joint that we just used. Everything that should follow it will follow it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select that beam, select that joint underneath it, parent, and I can check that everything moves as we want. This will be parented to that, P, and these two bits in my design are going to be parented to the first joint. So as you can see in, in the outliner, the, the bits have now been moved underneath the joint. And if I grab joint one, the whole thing should move. And you can check the joints one at a time that they work as we want them to. Now that's, that's already a rig um, and that could be animated, uh, but we want to set so-called IK, I, IK handle on this. And it means inverse kinematics which means we don't have to go and rotate every single joint every time we can grab from the lamp head and move it. The wireframe mode again so that we can see the joints and under skeleton menu there's create IK handle and instead of clicking the create IK handle I recommend going to the option box and making sure this is rotate plane solver. And then I'll select this joint here and this joint here, whatever they are called. 
like that, click and click. And this line should form here and and if you take the move tool you should already be able to move that. And that's what that's what an what an IK system is. That you don't have to rotate every single joint, you just move it from the IK handle. Now next step we want to not to have to worry about the IK handle at all. We want to create something that's easy to select so that you don't end up moving or deleting anything you're not supposed to touch. So we're going to create animation controllers. I like to create objects using NURBS primitives and I usually use SERP. You could use any kind of an object. It doesn't have to even be a NURBS, could be polygons. But the good thing about, say, a circle is it won't show in a render. So I'm going to create one circle for the base. I'm going to duplicate it. Control D. This is going to be the main or the main controller. I'm going to duplicate it again. And bring this where that joint for the lamp head is gonna make it slightly smaller the main thing is that it's easy to easy to see and easy to select and I'm gonna duplicate it once more bring it away from the lamp somewhere here now I'm gonna name these so that it's it's clear this is gonna be called head controller you can call these anything you like, but I, I do recommend uh, naming them. Base controller. This is the main controller. And this, I'm going to call it twist target. Now, as with modeling, I want to select these all, freeze their transformations. So as you can see, zero the values. And I'm going to delete the history to get rid of anything unnecessary. Now we have our animation controllers, but we, we need to figure out how to make the rig follow these controllers. There are several ways to do this. I'm now trying to do it using only parenting so. What do we want to start following this head controller? We we want the IK handle to follow it, so we we parent the IK handle to the head controller. I'm gonna do it by drag middle mouse button dragging the IK handle to the head controller. Select the head controller. I don't want the lamp head to be rotating like that. With parenting, the only way I can control that is to reparent everything in the head to this to this head controller press p so now the hierarchy changed as you can see the both ik handle and lampshade and bulb are here now but the good thing is when we move the head controller we have more control over it we can rotate it as well setting up the base is simple you take your first joint and parent it to the base controller and now that should have an independent movement like that. I'm then going to parent the twist target into the base controller and finally both head and base controller to the main controller. So now if I select the main controller, everything should move with it. If I scale it, everything should scale with it. Now that's almost our lamp setup but i i wanted to put this extra controller for twist because it's nice to nice to be able to twist uh, without moving the head so at the moment if i rotate the head the whole lamp twists for attaching the twist into the into the, an object like this we have to do a thing called pole vector constraint but it's fairly easy you select the twist target or whatever you've called it you look for your ik handle and then you go to constraint pole vector and after that when you move the target you should get a nice twist and when you rotate the lamp head it shouldn't make the lamp twist anymore lastly 
we could tidy the scene up. We can select the IK handle and, and hide it. I would go to the channel box, find visibility there and insert value zero there so that we don't accidentally select the IK handle anymore. Another thing we can do is make all these these objects of the lamp non-selectable. One way to do that is to select all the all the objects, put, uh, open channel box and layer editor, and here you go to layers and create layer from selected. Now that's a, a layer of its own and as you can see the V controls visibility. But you can also click twice on the third box until it says R and that means it's reference and it's now non-selectable. I will actually select the first joint as well and add it, add it to that layer. So that nothing else is sel selectable now except the animation controls. And that's our rigged lamp ready to be animated.